Hey, hey, and here we are again for another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. We are at Aldi. Please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And we are starting our new routine, as you can see. Friday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern is our new uploading schedule. So if you're ready to go shopping, so am I. Let's go. All right, so I just got out of Aldi's and I have to say, I think I need to switch which Aldi that I go to because I feel like every time that I go to this one, they are out of a lot of things. And I don't know if it's like a supply chain issue or it's, I don't know what it is, but I could not get a lot of things. They were out of those seltzer waters that I buy every week, very low on like basic things like they didn't have very many creamers or options of creamers uh they were missing they were missing a whole mess of spices just like normal spices that are there all the time things like the uh uh sea salt grinders they were missing the pepper grinders they were missing vanilla extract they were missing garlic powder half the shelves were bare like i said i don't know what's going on they do have turkey on sale and I really wanted to grab one because they're 87 cents a pound, but they were completely out of those too. And the sale just started today. So I don't know what's going on, but from now on, I think I'm gonna go to a different Aldi because it drives me insane. Anyway, let's go check out our haul. Okay, here we are and we are back from Aldi and we also had to go to Wagmans to get a few things because like I said, Aldi was out of a whole bunch of stuff. So, without further ado, let's start over here with our produce. And I got here, as you can see, a whole bunch of bananas. Yes, terrible pun is intended with that. Over here, pomegranate. They have some pomegranates this week. I don't normally see pomegranates there. I don't even really know how to eat one, but I'm gonna give it a try, because I love pomegranates. I also grabbed a cucumber. This is the regular one. They also have the English cucumbers or they're also known as seedless cucumbers. I have here a sack of lemons. And then I grabbed a broccoli. This is like a giant head of broccoli. This is all one. Usually there's a couple in there, but that's one big broccoli. I grabbed here some honey crisp apples. This is a two pound bag. I'm going to use these. I'm going to make an apple pie. So keep an eye out on my channel. I will be sharing my apple pie recipe with you guys. Uh, and then for more produce, I grabbed some green onions or scallions and I'm going to just use these in several different dishes because I love those. Grab some carrots here as well because in the winter time I do a lot of soups and stuff like that so it's always nice to have carrots hanging around. Over here I got some hummus. I have some pita chips uh, in my pantry so I grabbed some hummus so I could have that with those. I grabbed some butter for baking. Uh, pork sausage. I think this was the only meat that I actually bought this week but I grabbed a pound of the pork sausage as well as this here herb stuffing. They also had like a cornbread stuffing mix. And I will once again be sharing with you guys my absolute all-time favorite stuffing recipe just in time for Thanksgiving. So once again, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on these awesome holiday recipes. 
grab some coffee. This week I went with the Barissimo Dark Roast with the little monkey guy on it. I grabbed a sauce. I'm going to be doing some raviolis this week for dinner. So I thought vodka sauce sounded really good with them because they're like a sun-dried tomato ravioli. Peanut butter, because we are running low in my pantry. I love the natural peanut butter. Scooting over here just a little bit. I also grabbed some frozen peas. These are going to be for like a stir fry dish. I have my coffee creamer. I'm not totally out of the white chocolate, but I just grabbed another one because I, I never want to run out. I have here a heavy whipping cream because they no longer sell the small ones, at least not at my Aldi, but I'm going to be using this for a soup as well as a spinach artichoke dish. I grabbed some bread. This is the whole wheat bread. Uh, I used, I grabbed two of these this time because my husband started taking sandwiches to work with him. So I have two of these so that I don't run out of that as well. And then I have here some diapers. Got some diapers for my son. I like the Aldi's baby products. I've never had a problem with them. They're really great. And then here I have some wipes. So for my friend James who asked me about them, here is the price up there on the screen as you can see. You, they uh, come in the 216 count for the thick and quilted. They also have a sensitive kind of wipes, which I think there was like 198 or something. There's a little bit less in the sensitive one, but they're the same price, so. Baby wipes. I'm moving over. Got some nuggets, chicken nuggets, just to keep in the freezer for my son. Italian style meatballs. They had these and then they had like plain meatballs. I've never tried all these meatballs before. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried them and you like them. I normally make my own meatballs, but I was feeling lazy this week, so I thought I would grab a bag of these just to keep in the freezer. It says there's about 64 meatballs. They're already fully cooked, so I figured that would just be a nice thing to have. And then I grabbed some of these French toast sticks. As you guys know, if you guys watch my hauls, you know that I normally grab the waffles, but I thought that maybe I would try these with my son and see how he likes them. I mean, it's French toast. Who doesn't like French toast? But I thought I would shake that up a little bit. They do cost a little bit more, but I don't even know. How many do you get in here? Let's see. About 20. So yeah, that'll probably last just as long as the waffles do. Sliding over, I grabbed an oil because I made apple fritters over the weekend, so I ran out of oil and I had to grab another one of those. And then, hiding back here, I grabbed a paper towel. It's a six pack. I was out of paper towels. I don't go through them all that fast, so this should last me at least several weeks. Then here we have our usual uh, squeezes for my son in assorted flavors. We have the pear and berry, apple and carrot, all sorts of them. I think I have about like 14 there. And then another cleaning product, I grabbed these sponges. These are dish sponges. I like them a lot. They're very similar to the Scotch-Brite. You get three in the pack. I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but I feel like they reduced them by one count. I think they used to do four. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But you get three of those, and I like them. They didn't have, like, the magic erasers. I was looking for those as well. I really needed those, but I'll see if they got them next week. And that was all I got from Aldi. Now, what the couple things that I got from Wegmans, which is a regional grocery chain. You might have one near you. You might not, depending on where you live. But because I couldn't get everything I needed from Aldi, I grabbed a few things from there. I found this vanilla extract. This was like the cheapest one that they had. The other ones were kind of expensive in my opinion. So I settled for that because that'll be sufficient for now. I grabbed these lentils. I'm going to be using these in a soup. I grabbed, again, because Aldi was out, uh, this garlic powder. The garlic powder has been hard to find today, so I ended up opting for the big guy because he was the best value for the buck. This has 8.75 ounces, 
and I use garlic powder all the time, so that will not go to waste. And then I grabbed these roasted red peppers. Uh, they're in olive oil with garlic. I'm going to be using these on a vegetarian hummus sandwich. So I just thought that these would be really good addition to add to that sandwich. It's going to be also with, be with like uh, the cucumber and um, like I said, the hummus and fresh peppers as well. And then the last, Oh, not last, but one of the last. <laughs> I bought the dark brown sugar. Again, this is going to be for baking. Like I said, I'm going to be making an apple pie, so I need brown sugar for that, because I am out. And then last but not least, I grabbed some herbs here for the stuffing recipe, and I believe they were all the same price, but I will definitely add that up there at the top. As you can see, I grabbed some fresh rosemary, I also have some fresh sage and Italian parsley. But that is it for this week's weekly grocery haul. And if you need some meal plan inspiration, please stick around. I have it for you coming right now. Okay, here is our weekly meal plan for this week. And for breakfast, we have options to do. I have some waffles left in my freezer and I also bought those French toast sticks. And I'll serve that with banana and peanut butter because my son will no longer eat bananas by themselves. They have to be served with peanut butter. Uh, for lunch, we can do either turkey, tuna fish, or peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Or we have some chicken nuggets. And I can serve that with one of his squeezes for him and or crackers. I have both some club crackers and graham crackers in my pantry. And for the dinners, Monday I'm going to do a spinach and artichoke seitan. If you don't know what seitan is, it is made out of like the, the protein, the gluten of flour. <laughs> so uh, it is a protein, it's a vegan substitute. You can make it using vital wheat gluten and that's what I do is I make up a batch of seitan and I'm going to make like a spinach artichoke type sauce. Um, it's very similar to spinach artichoke dip but it's gonna go over the top of the seitan, be baked, and then I'm gonna serve it with some rice and vegetables. Tuesday, I have some sun-dried tomato ravioli in my pantry. I bought it at Aldi about two weeks ago, so I wanna use that up, and I'm going to serve that with the vodka sauce. Wednesday, I have a spaghetti squash, so we're going to do some spaghetti squash and meatballs, and again, I'll probably still have like half this jar of sauce left, so I will use that with this dish here. Thursday, I'm gonna make a spicy Thai lentil soup, and I'm gonna serve that with some naan that I have in my freezer. And this is made with um, like a curry, so it's like a curry style, it is spicy, so my son won't eat this, but that is why we buy the chicken nuggets. Friday, I'm gonna make a sesame seitan stir fry. Again, seitan, I'm gonna make a double batch on the one day, and then I'll just use it for both of the days here. I'll keep it in my fridge. And this is a great cost-effective way as to uh, not have to buy a lot of protein, a lot of meats every week. I'm going to make like a sesame style sauce and serve it up with some vegetables and I'll probably throw some rice in there too if I feel like I need to bulk it up. Saturday, I'm going to make a mushroom mac and cheese. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. I ended up not using the uh, mac and cheese that I had in my pantry last week, so I will use it this week. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do a veggie in hummus panini. I have a couple pieces of uh, the Swiss sourdough bread that I buy from all these left in my freezer. And I will throw some of the leftover veggies, the roasted red peppers, the cucumbers, stuff like that, on it as well as some of that garlic hummus. And I will grill it up and serve it with some garlic carrot fries. And that is all for my meal plan and grocery haul this week. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.